Many spiritual traditions emphasize the power of intention, focused awareness, and the idea that our consciousness plays a role in creating our reality. Practices like prayer, visualization, or mindful intention setting are believed to influence outcomes. In shamanism, focused intent is often used in healing rituals or when journeying to find information. Is there a connection between the quantum observer effect and the subjective experience of consciousness influencing reality? While we are far from proving that human consciousness directly collapses quantum wave functions on a macroscopic scale, the parallel between a universe where observation matters and spiritual traditions where intention is powerful is a compelling point of contemplation. Quantum tunneling, where a particle passes through a barrier it classically shouldn't be able to, also offers an interesting metaphor. Spiritual awakening often involves sudden breakthroughs in understanding, rapid shedding of old patterns, or the ability to access insights or abilities that felt previously blocked. Psychologically, we talk about breaking through mental or emotional barriers. Could there be a quantum biological component to this, where neural processes or information transfer in the brain utilize quantum tunneling to achieve rapid shifts or access seemingly inaccessible states? Some speculative theories about consciousness and information processing in the brain do touch upon these ideas. Now let's look at the contrast. Schrodinger versus shamanism. Erwin Schrodinger was a brilliant theoretical physicist, working with equations, thought experiments, and rigorous logic to describe the fundamental nature of reality. His world was one of probabilities described by wave functions, collapse upon measurement, and paradoxical cats. It was intellectual, analytical, and aimed at an objective understanding of the universe. A shaman, on the other hand, is a practitioner who navigates altered states of consciousness to interact with perceived non-ordinary reality for healing, guidance, or knowledge. Their tools are not equations and particle accelerators, but drums, chanting, plants, ritual, and the capacity to enter trance states. Their understanding comes not just from analysis, but from direct, subjective experience. They don't just describe reality, they immerse themselves in it, interacting with symbolic landscapes and entities that exist outside the realm of the everyday senses. The shaman's world is one of spirit journeys, soul retrieval, energetic healing, and communication with unseen forces. It is deeply experiential, often symbolic, and rooted in a worldview where everything is alive and interconnected. At first glance, it seems worlds away from the abstract mathematics of quantum mechanics.